This is going to show you how to port forward in general, but the thing about port forwarding is that you need to know which ports to forward. So, um, I'll be showing you basically how to do that for Source games. So, first of all, you need to, uh, if you have Windows 7, you'll see this search bar. Type into it, CMD. If you don't have Windows 7 and you have XP, uh, you can you can st click Start, and then there will be a Run function right here, and do the same thing. Just click CMD and then Enter. Once you're inside of it, type in IP config, and then Enter. Now, it'll give you a list of information. You just need to look for default gateway. 192.168.1.1 is mine. It may be different for yours, but that's why you need to look it up. Then you type that exactly in. 192.168.1.1. Then this will come up. You just need to type in, uh, for m most people, it's going to, the username is going to be admin, and the password will be password things. However, I changed mine for security reasons. Um, so, then if you have Linksys, you'll see this. If not, you'll see something similar. Go to Applications and Gaming. Otherwise, uh, for a, a similar one, you may be able to uh, find the Applications and Gaming, or you may be able to find a Port Range Forward uh, link. But either way, you will need to uh, find the port range forward section of your router settings. So uh, I have all of my, I have like Xbox Live port forwarded and I uh, this is for Valve games. Valve uses 27,000 to 27,050 and uh, that's in both TCP and UDP. So go ahead and type in Valve in the application so you know which one it is. Then type in start to 27,000 end 27,050, and protocol is both UDP and TCP. Then, you're going to go back to your command prompt and look at your IPv4 address. This is the, the address for your computer itself that you want to be playing the, the source games on. So, mine is basically the same as my default gateway, which is 192.168.1.101. So, you're going to want to type that in after 27,050. So, it's already typed in here. It's uh, 192.168.1. And then you need to put in the 101. Uh, or, I need to put in the 101. It might be different for you. Just remember, it's the IPv4 address. After that, uh, make sure it's enabled. And save settings. Settings are successful. And you're done.